From LA Late News Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is the Midday Report on LA Late. It's a big time here on Home LA with incredible great news about your four stimulus check update of 2022 and the routing times on those incredible four stimulus checks that are now landing by direct deposit. How do you get them? When do you get them? And how easy are they to get? I'll have them in today's recording. But as you know, Home LA is all about the delicious Brussels sprout chocolate cake recipes. <laughs> Not all together. And in this recording, we're going to digress just for a little bit. I'll be in the live chat with you to talk not only about how to do your best sugar-free recipes, but also how to get your stimulus checks. If you have incredible questions about stimulus, they'll get into the live chat. And I'll be here to answer your incredible questions in this live broadcast from the shores of Santa Monica, California today. Similar checks have gone out by the President of the United States and also by your state legislatures. They are huge. And I'll have the latest details on what's at issue, and then I'll have a little bit of my narrative and why it's important to look at the situation the correct way. We'll have a little bit of, uh, as well about what's happening this week, and then, of course, those big rounding times. We'll go over the rounding times for those incredible force stimulus checks, whether it is congressional or state. It's important for you to become a member because over this big broadcast today, we'll go over these big checks that are featured in the membership newsletter from 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alerts. The chocolate cake is delicious. The uh, Brussels sprouts are even better. But stimulus checks, not one, not two, but multiple of them. In this recording, we'll go over all that deliciousness and some sugar-free recipes as well. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, to my home, to your home, it's home. And it all starts right now. And good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> Hope you have a beautiful day. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, LA Late, this is LA Late. And what a beautiful day it is with a new check landing, check D. It is a state stimulus check. It's on top of those presidential stimulus checks, A, B, and C, that have gone out. In the days we're going, to, we're going to go over the rounding times of those big checks, four stimulus checks. And then I'll go into the live chat and interact with you. A lot of money, a lot of excitement, a lot of payouts and a lot of breaking news. Today on evening's LA at five o'clock Pacific Standard Time, and also on brand new afternoon's LA at three o'clock, we'll go over the breaking news about all these incredible checks, also SS300, Build Back Better Act, Student Loan Debt Forgiveness, we've had a lot of breaking news just a minute ago. It's all coming up at about three o'clock today, and also five o'clock Eastern Standard Time. But today, we're gonna go right into those rounding times. What's important to understand is that the President of the United States has the ability to send out for stimulus checks, and has sent them out. He sent them out by executive order. The first check is check A, and that first check has about a one-week rounding time. But the rounding time is getting slowed down across the board because guess what? It's been out for a few days. These checks all slow down the longer it, it is out from when it became law. Let's look at when they became law. Check A became law on March 31st. Check B became law on March 4th. And then check C has been law since 2021. What's important to understand is when we talk about that check A, that four stimulus check that has gone out by executive order by Joe Biden, it is a four stimulus check and it is $6,500. Its routing time is about one week out of the time. But it's getting slowed down a little bit. Now, in the check B situation, it's 50 thousand to eighty thousand dollar for stimulus checks lenny by direct deposit rounding times on this was about a week but i'm hearing from viewers as well this one has slowed down a lot initially viewers have told me that when they apply they're being told that by the computer system it's approved within about 48 hours from there then they said they had got an approval announcement in the website and that it was slowing down from getting the payment no longer one week turnaround than two weeks. Now let's understand that every state has different routing times because the checks are being sent from the states. 
to you, not from the federal government directly. The money is given to the states and then routed to you. Now, in the, check of, in the case of check C, this is all dependent upon what you do. Check C's are not set up by automation. This involves picking up the phone and calling, asking for these big checks. How do you get them? They're covered on tonight's Enings Elliott and certainly in five and fifth stimulus. Uh, and, and certainly at the 3 o'clock show. Now, let's go to that state stimulus check. Now, the state stimulus checks, these are all very, very different. Some state stimulus checks have gone out. Some are about to go out. And then some you have to do something to get. In the case of the states, it's even more elaborate because in the case of some states, you have to actually file the tax return, then get it back from the tax return. Other states, you don't have to do anything. And then some states have already done it, and other states are proposing to do it. So how do you get all those details? They're all in the membership newsletter. On the membership newsletter. Have you become a member? Go to the top of the chat and pin comment. Become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. The membership newsletter delivered 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert system. You don't want to miss that membership newsletter because guess what? It has all the details of how to get these incredible checks. A, B, C, and D. No need to write down all the details in a recording like this. It's all featured in that incredible newsletter put together for you so that you can pounce. Now, what's important to understand is that checks are being announced progressively. And that's why you want to be a member and stay a member. First, check A was first out the gate. Then check B. Then check C. And now check D. Very fluid situation. In the membership newsletter, I go over the checks that are proposed and the checks that are law, and then the states that are new. So we've gone from two states to 20 states, and then all the 20 states, half the states, have it still as a proposal, but not out the door. Now, let's understand the situation unfolding dramatically across the board, is that there's a use or lose provision for the state stimulus, and the states need to get that money to you by the time in which they can no longer lose it. they got to use it, and that means they have to get you those checks uh, by the end of, by the fall of this year, but that doesn't mean they're going to wait that long. And in fact, in many cases, they haven't. In the case of the president's checks, he's not away for anyone. That's, those checks have gone out. And finally, in the case of student loan debt forgiveness, this is a very fluid situation. It's going to be covered more tonight on Amy's LA, but in the case of student loan debt forgiveness, those student loan debts are being forgiven left and right, and more could be forgiven as well. We have a breaking news report that will be featured on evenings and the 3 o'clock show today for afternoons that the president now says he will make a determination on more student loan forgiveness in the next few days. So this is breaking news for today, April 28th, 2022. And this is as the president has forgiven a lot of student loan debts in the last few days as well. Throughout this broadcast, I'll be jumping to the live chat to answer your questions across the board. So if you have questions about any type of item covered for stimulus in this recording, jump in the live chat. I'll be able to answer your question. This is the only interactive show on this channel. And let's put up some chocolate cake there so it can make you hungry. <laughs> Let me jump in the live chat and see some of your questions right now at new time. Uh, and I think I'd like some bro roasted Brussels sprouts right now. Uh, <laughs> there's Bob Bacon. Bob Bacon's about to say, where are we going over some mangoes? We need some mangoes in this recording. <laughs> uh, there is, um, uh, there's Taconda. Hello, how are you? <laughs> and, uh, what is offline? Why is it offline? Uh, before a video starts, it appears offline. Until then, it, well, it's live. That's what's important to know. All right, let me go into something that's very, very important for you to know, and that is states using and not losing. What's important to understand is that states all have money. Third stimulus gave fortunes to the states, gave fortunes to the states, and gave it based upon the population of the state's residents, not based upon any other factor. And so every state has money. It doesn't matter if the state's rich or poor. Republican or Democrat. Every state was given third stimulus based upon the population of the citizens. Now, that means that they have potentially excess money, generally do have excess money. Third stimulus money they haven't used yet. So they got to use it or lose it. They're not going to lose it. They're not going to return anything back to the federal government. They're going to use it. Now, last night we had a very interesting exchange between me and three viewers in one of the evening shows where the viewers said, one state, Massachusetts, they don't help anyone. There's never going to be any help. 
Then another viewer saying, Oregon, they're not going to help anyone in Oregon. They don't help anyone. And then another person in another state, I can't remember the third one. I got to tell you, one after another, after the other third states, were all false statements by those viewers. They weren't members. They said there wasn't money, money. There was money. They actually sent out a symbols check. <laughs> and that viewer literally hadn't missed it, hadn't missed it, did not catch the force, had not catch that force symbols check. It actually gone out for their state. Massachusetts, Oregon, and the third. Here's what's important for you to know is that if you believe there's nothing, you may miss it. You may miss it. It's a wrong mindset. Saying that there's nothing there, it sets you up for trouble. Because ultimately, there is either money there now, in the case of state force symbols check, or could be money coming thereafter. Let's go over both the situations. Back last Thursday, there were two states that had given money. And they were Pennsylvania and they were Maine. Even that day when I made that recording, one viewer said, Pennsylvania doesn't help anyone. I said, I'm, I'm about to get to Pennsylvania. I got three pages of quotes from your governor about the stimulus check he's sending out. Really? <laughs> said, just don't try it with me. Well, right after I recorded Pennsylvania and Maine, someone in one state said, there won't be any other states. I said, of course there will be. There will be other states. And one person said, there hasn't been anything in my state. Well, there was by the end of that afternoon. <laughs> That's how it rocks and rolls. So to say there's nothing there currently may really trip you up. One, because there may actually be money there currently. And number two, because even if there isn't money there today, there may be money there tomorrow. Remember, the user loses coming up later this year, and they got to use it, and they're not going to lose it. So don't think that there isn't money if you don't hear it today, because they still have a couple more weeks to make the determination in the state levels, and then thereafter send you the checks. Could they do multiple checks? Yes. They could do one item and then another item. A lot of states are doing sort of simple little things, and they may come back with something more aggressive thereafter. And then some states are saying, we're going to do something, but haven't announced what they're going to do. How do you learn what states are doing and whether you aren't doing? You want to become a member. It's in the link to this chat. The Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Become an incredible member and learn about what's at issue. And that membership newsletter, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, via the YouTube alert system. Now, here's something that's important for you to know. If you have questions or comments, jump in the live chat right now. What about North Carolina? I haven't heard anything. Uh, I think someone asked about North Carolina yesterday. I think North Carolina will do it. Um, Dragon says, I miss the banana bread, Brussels sprout chocolate cake ice cream. Yeah, we're, we're getting to banana bread. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, two things I want to talk about and context of that person's comment about North Carolina, which I do appreciate. Uh, two things. The first one is that <laughs> someone just said, Bob Bacon. Someone says to Bob all the time, use it or lose it. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, they're telling me all the time, lose it. <laughs> hey, I like, lose it. <clears throat> no, I, I'll use it. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's important to understand is two items. One, what that viewer just said about North Carolina, interesting. Is North Carolina going to get it? I want to make something clear. I haven't seen it yet. Certainly didn't see it with this viewer. But I also want to make this very clear to viewers. Is that we have check A. And we have check B. And we have check C. And we have check D. I don't want anyone to get really sort of laser focus only on check D. And you know why? You know why I'm going to say this? Because check D has that sort of donut-ish element to it. Uh, when is my state sending out me a check? Tell me when that state is sending out me a check. I don't want you to do it. No one has done that yet. But I don't want you to forego check A, B, or C and only focus on D. For obvious reasons... Check A is a massive check. It is $6,500 or $12,000. Check B is an even bigger check. It is it is, is $15,000 to $80,000 checks. When we chunk about check C, it is upwards of $150,000. When we chunk about check D, it's likely not more than $2,000. It may hover around in the hundreds, $500, $800, $900. dollars But let's be very frank, and I got to tell you, this is where... Uh, I haven't seen this happen yet, but I hope no one does this. I don't want anyone to say, you know what, I'm not going to try to get check A, uh, fix $6,500 to $12,000. I'm not going to try to get $80,000 checks. I'm going to wait for just check D to land. 
No. Why? Because notice that symbol in front of the 2000 it's about 2000 Some states are doing $500 stimulus checks. So why would you do not, actually, let me say it this way, do not pass up these monstrous checks to just wait for a $500 check from your state. Do not pass up this check, do not pass up that check, and do not pass up this check. I want you to get all of them. I want you to get all of them, and I don't want you to be focused only on D. Let me jump back in the live chat and see some more of your deliciousness uh, and, and see if there's some mango recipes in the live chat right now. <laughs> if you have questions, jump into the live chat right now that you have across the board. Uh, Texas. I didn't see Texas on the list check yet. Uh, I don't think Texas was on the list just yet. Uh, what about Louisiana? I don't remember about Louisiana. Um, and what about Oklahoma? Um, all the states that are being announced are going to the membership newsletter, and I'm consistently revising the membership newsletter. So that is what's important for you know. There's Chef Roberto in the live chat. Um, so it's important to never miss that membership newsletter because we have new checks being added across the board every day. We have check A, B, and C. Now let's go to Build by Better Act because we're talking about routing of checks. You're going to see on Afternoons LA and Evenings LA tonight in primetime a major new report. When, even when I say the report in the Evenings LA broadcast, I got to laugh. Why? Uh, if you watch Overnight's LA, you see some of the videos from um, last summer, last fall. And at the time, Chuck Schumer says that 2021, Memorial Day weekend 2021, is when he thought third stimulus, fourth stimulus was going to get done. Remember that July? <laughs> so guess what they're doing today again? Another insider thinks that they may get Build Back Better Act done by Memorial Weekend 2022. <laughs> In <laughs> July 2022. Yeah, they just it's sort of the same quote as last year. That's changing the, the number at the end. Do I think that Bill Back Better Act will get you a check in the month of April? No. No, no, no. I don't think it's going to get you a check in the month of April. Next, um, I've had some people hear the SS300 part of the recordings and get those confused. When I talk about Joe Biden make that swap of coal to inflation, don't think that the moment he makes a swap or does or can make the swap from code of inflation, you get to check that minute. <laughs> it takes a little bit of time. It usually takes about 30 days from a government agency to get an order and agree to do what that presidential order says before it kicks in. Let's use that SNAP as an example. Last uh, October, Joe Biden reached out to SNAP saying, pay more money for SNAP. And he, they did. But they didn't do it that week or that day. It took about a month. So always remember, when we're talking about the SS300, people are seeing a few questions where people say, are we getting $200 more per this month? Uh, no, it wouldn't be in the same month. And also you have to remember that a lot of people are paid benefits on a monthly basis. So we have that element at issue. But that was a really uh, interesting line of questioning. So I'm glad, I'm glad I remember that. If you're in the live chat, post your questions right now and I'll answer some of your questions across the board. Um, there is Patricia. Welcome, Patricia, member of 10 years. Mango and cucumber sal salsa. So good. Um, and that was just said by, oh, Dragon, by Dragon. Wow. Vermont says, Terry, I think Vermont should. Kamora, are these checks for S uh, taxpayers or SSI or SSDI? So generally, I say, you know, the, the is it for SSI questions are generally sort of unfounded. But in the case of the state stimulus, it gets a little bit interesting. Let me go over the nuances. Um, the viewer in the live chat was asking, are these checks for people who pay tax returns? What about people who don't pay tax returns? First, let me make this part clear. I haven't made this recording for a while, but if I ever mention a check that you want to get but you haven't filed a tax return because you don't have to, because you're on Social Security or, or benefits. You follow me so far? SSI or SSI. If you're following me so far, let's, let's go to the next step. Then there's nothing that prevents you from filing a tax return to get that money. I did this a lot as recording last year. Last year, people had gotten the first and the second stimulus check, but they didn't get the third. 
Then the federal government, the IRS, said, if you didn't get the third symbols check, you need to file a tax return to get a third symbols check. I had a big battle with viewers for over a month saying, I don't have to file a tax return. I'm on benefits. I don't have to file a tax return. Well, if you want this third symbols check and you haven't gotten it, you need to file the tax return. That's what IRS says. And they kept on saying, but I don't have to. I said, then fine, you're not getting a check. <laughs> you want the check and you want to not get the check. And then finally, viewers woke up. Now, let's go back to what we're talking about right now. If there's anything that I ever say in recording that you have to have a tax return on file to get something, if I ever say that any time over the year that you need to do something based upon the tax return, go file the tax return. Go file the tax return. There's nothing that prevents you from filing a tax return if you're on benefits. Again, if you're on benefits, and I'm referring to SSI and SSDI, if you're on SSI and SSDI, you may not have to file a tax return, but that's different than saying you're prevented from filing a tax return. Nothing prevents you from filing a tax return. All right, let's go over that now in the context of the different checks. Check A and B, uh, it, it depends. It really depends. I don't know, as a matter of fact, whether you have to have a tax return on file. But I believe it's going off of your annual income. That is what I've always reported. So they don't know what your annual income is, then you may have to have a tax return on file. In the case of check C, I do not believe you do. Um, now, I've had people on SSI and SSDI get check A, B, and C, but I haven't asked them, did they have a tax return on file? Again, check A and B is, it does require evidence that they know you make less than 75000 or per year. So that makes it very interesting. We go to check D. In the case of check D, this is where the viewer's question is really interesting. So, as recorded tonight on News LA and also on After News LA, there are some states that are doing some state stimuluses where they're giving you money back when you file the tax return. There you go. That one's pretty obvious. When you file the tax return, you get the money back. There are some states that do that. It's in the membership newsletter. For example, let's say uh, it's $500 back off your 2021 tax return. So let's say you had zero income. You get $500 tax refund. That's how it would work. If you don't file a tax return, you wouldn't get it. So that is... That is a really on-point answer to that viewer's question. In some cases, the states say, yeah, we're giving you money off of the tax return. Other states are just saying, no, we're giving you money, but they may need to know how much money you're making in order for them to send you the money. So that is where it gets very interesting across the board. That's a really, really great question by that viewer. That's why you want to become a member because it's all in the membership newsletter. Let me jump back into the live chat right now. Uh mangoes and cucumber salad <laughs> it just keeps on sounding better do i have to put donuts down to file tax return <laughs> says bob bacon ohio uh yeah i believe there is a help in ohio um let's see some more of the questions um <laughs> the, the jokes are just flying on in uh I'm going to make some banana bread and then freeze it, someone else just said. Oh, come on, it's just all making us hungry. All right, with that, let's go to some banana. <laughs> let's go to some sugar-free and banana bread. What is the best way to do your sugar-free recipes, whether it's banana bread, whether it's cookies, or whether it's chocolate cake? What is the best way to default to a sugar-free recipe? And how is the best way to bring that flavor out? There's a lot of tricks in the baking environment to bring out flavor without having to use sugar. Now, you may say, well, just use a sugar sub substitute. Well, let's try it without a sugar substitute. No sugar, no sugar substitute. So what are the other ways to bring out flavor? The first easiest one in my book is butter. Butter really brings out enormous flavor. And I mean butter more so than margarine. Real pure butter brings out a lot of delicious flavor in the baking process. Number two, in the same universe, let's stay with dairy. Sandy asked me a, few, a great question a few days ago. Do you have a carrot cake recipe? I haven't made that recording yet. I need to. Carrot cake recipe, the top is a, is a, is a glaze, is a, is a coating with cream cheese. Cream cheese is great with your baked goods as a topping, as 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 a, um, it, whether it's a cupcake or it's a cake, cream cheese has a lot of flavor, a lot of flavor. And for that, I'd use whole milk cream cheese or just your normal cream cheese. Do not use low fat, do not use skim cream cheese. In fact, those have sugar. <laughs> Did you not know? Yeah, 
the low fat or the sugar or the of the skim milk cream cheeses usually have sugar, whereas the whole milk cream cheese do not have sugar. The whole milk cream cheeses have a lot of flavor, so that's another way to bring flavors into into your baking. Next, uh, vanilla extract. Vanilla extract is great, and in most cases, it's called imitation vanilla extract. You get it at your big box retailer, very very cheap. Almond extract, also very very good. And then lemon juices, pure lemon juices, usually at your ethnic market, great way to bring out a lot of flavor. I also like um, I also like the zest or the core of a particular fruit. So lemon zest, orange zest, or the core of the fruit. Let's take a um, on the sweeter size. A lot of your berries, a lot of your berries have that sweeter size, a, a sweeter kick to them. They really help in that flavor department as well. Then, if you have the ability to really have pure chocolate in your recipe, then go with it. I made a lot of recordings on this channel about that pure cocoa. That was our sugar-free chocolate case recipe on this channel. Yeah, that one. Um, that one used pure cocoa. It's granulated. It has a granulated powder form. And boy, it pops with flavor. In the second half of this video, I'll be answering more of your incredible questions that you may have about your routing times of your stimulus and about the actual stimulus checks. Then I have some commentary for you as well. If you haven't become a member, become a member. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds. As Home LA continues, with or without some Brussels sprouts, with or without some banana bread, and maybe or maybe not with some mangoes. I'll see you back in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues in this big second half of Home LA at noontime. Boy, we got exciting details and a lot of laughs in this live chat. You know, soon Loan Deaf Again has got a major announcement today. What was it? It's going to be featured tonight on 80s LA in prime time. It's 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 8 o'clock Eastern. But you're going to get a preview of what that announcement was on a brand new Afternoons LA coming up in just in a second. Plus, what's going on with that six stimulus and what is going on with the other stimulus packages that's coming up later today is in the recording but let me jump back in that live chat and see some more of your incredible questions that you may have about routing times the checks how to get them and more i saw some great questions during the commercial break one viewer said for check a and b do i have to own a home yes so checking a and b you need to own a home not for c or d great question then Bob Bacon says, do you have to own a home to get Brussels sprouts? No, um, but but if it's, <laughs> but if you had mango cake with chocolate icing, that would help. Uh, Mike Lasco says, hello, Elliot, how are you? Um, and just did a whole thing with lemon frosting, lemon zest. It's just uh, a lot, a lot, a lot going on. Uh, and he said, congratulations, Elliot, on your second year anniversary. Very, very kind. Thank you. I appreciate it across the board. Um Dragon said there's help in all the states to Flaw Dragon. Does someone actually have the screen name Flaw Dragon? 
uh, flaw dragon. <laughs> so there's a flaw dragon, and there's also a dragon. <laughs> we just got a lot of dragons in the live chat. Uh, here's my commentary about that subject matter, which is ironic because that's exactly where I was going. That's exactly where I was going. It's important to note that there's two ways to approach money. It's there, you get it, or it's there, and you don't get it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's sort of the approach across the board. What's important to understand is that you may want to get the money, or you may not want to make the effort to get the money. This channel is about learning. Learning is earning. Learning is earning, because the way you earn is the way you learn. You got to learn to earn. If there's money out there, you got to learn where it is. If there's money out there, you got to learn how to get it. If there's money out there, you have to learn how to pounce. And there's money out there, you have to learn. And when you learn, you earn. But along the way, there's some people who think they know everything. They don't learn anything, and they don't earn anything. <laughs> That's so catchy, isn't it? They don't learn anything, and they don't earn anything. So those type of people are the people who jump into a live channel and say something like, there's no money in my state. Well, there is. <laughs> So you didn't learn anything yet in this video, or that video. And there is money. You didn't learn anything. You just said something incorrect. And guess what? You didn't earn anything. You just came in saying there's no money in my state, so you didn't want to learn. And then guess what? You didn't earn. That's what's very apparent. And you shouldn't be that person. So you either learn to earn or you burn. <laughs> learn to earn or burn out of here. Uh, bombshell. <laughs> <laughs> What's important to understand is that the when we look at the state stimulus, the state stimulus, there's money nearly everywhere. And the money is apparent across the board. Your approach to the situation may be one of negativity, but don't bring that negativity in a way that hurts other people. Last night in one of the live chats, I really had a very interesting discussion with one viewer who said there's no money to help anyone. Ooh. Boy, I made it very clear to the viewer, when you say there's no help to help anyone, in sort of these blankety statements that sound like they spread across the entire, the entire United States, I said, you know what you just did? You hurt a lot of people. You hurt a lot of people until I see the comment and I delete it. Why? Because when someone sees you saying there's nothing, then guess what happens? They don't go get the money that they need. Let me use an example. You're having a beautiful $7 cappuccino with frothy uh, mango frosting on the top and lemon zest. <laughs> and you paid $7.50 for a drink that's probably worth a dollar. And then someone is about one month out from being evicted from their home. They need $600. And you just went in the live chat and said, there's no money anywhere for anyone in any place, in any state, any city, or any county. Let me go back to my $7 frappuccino, or cappuccino, whatever it's called. <laughs> then that person who may have seen your comments says, oh, the person just said there's no money. I won't go get it. They don't go get the money. They get evicted. Then they become homeless. Look what you just did to that person. You really hurt that person financially really badly. That person had the opportunity to get the money, and you said don't get it because there's no money. Now, you either recklessly or deliberately hurt someone's financial livelihood. How does that feel? How does that feel? You either recklessly or deliberately hurt someone. You told them there's no money. Don't get it. When there was money, they needed it and they could have gotten it. And you told them don't get it. You know how awful that is? Imagine if I had done that in the first days of this channel. People were about to lose their homes and businesses and everything else. And I stepped forward and helped them get their EIDL grants and loans. Imagine if there was another channel that says, there will never be a penny from EIDL. There'll never be a penny from EIDL grants. There'll never be any FPUC or PUA. Just enjoy the streets. Imagine if someone made that video. Imagine if anyone would even watch it. Now, of course, no one would ever watch it. Of course, no one would ever make that video. But some people, when they post those type of comments, they are hurting people either deliberately or recklessly. So please don't do it. Please don't do it. You are really hurting people when you say there's nothing. When you say there's nothing either across your entire state, across the entire United States, across the entire four stimulus, you are willfully or deliberately hurting other people to think that there's nothing when there is. You can hurt yourself, but it's another thing when you hurt other people 
And that's why you should apologize to those people and not do it again. And certainly, I'm deleting the comments as soon as I see them, because they're not right. It's time for some chocolate. <laughs> After that, I need some icing. I need a little bit of chocolate. Uh, let me jump back in the live chat. If you have incredible questions or comments, jump in there right now. I'll answer some incredible questions. Someone's getting congratulations to Scott. Uh, so congratulations to Scott. I don't know what happened with Scott. But um, let me, um, let me, this is Mike. Uh, talking about upside down pineapple cake. There's a lot of upside down pineapple cake comments in the live chat. I have no idea where that happened. There's Chef Roberto says, I'm making fresh rotisserie chicken with a bacon. With bacon. Oh, wonderful. Is it bacon on the top or inside? Um, and uh, then well, now we're taking cooking classes. I'm loving it, says Kimura. I, I love that you're loving it, Kimura. When you're doing that, that decadent flavor, that decadent flavor should come from both the inside and the coating. So a lot of people think that the flavor, if it's sugar-free, has to come from the coating of the, of the item. No, get it in the inside of the item. Also, what's important to understand is that when it does not have that punch of sugar sweetness, then make sure you don't overbake. Softness is really one of the ways to bring out a lot of wonderfulness in a baked product. If it's a hard, crispy item, then it feels a little bit like toast. <laughs> Let me give you an example. I could take a cookie, and I could put 20 different pounds of sugar in there, and then put it in the oven and bake it at 550, or broil, so it becomes completely crispy, and take it out and then bite into it. I won't taste any flavor. I won't taste any sugar, because I really overcooked it. Let's do the reverse. Let's put no sugar in there, cook it very low, make it moist, make it soft, take it out, and let it sit and let it rise. And that's really nice and soft and moist, but there's no sugar in there. Guess what? It's very enjoyable. Something that's moist, soft, buttery, creamy, has a great texture, maybe a lot, a lot of lemon zest, because we've had a lot of lemon zest in this recording, or some upside down pineapple flavoring. <laughs> Or some vanilla extract, almond extract, you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised how much wonderfulness there is. There, when you approach a lemon cookie, for example, a lemon cookie, many people think that a lemon cookie should be really crispy, that you're buying it. No, it can be really nice and soft, really nice and soft, and just have a very strong, aromatic lemon and the kick, and also that lemon flavor in there. No sugar whatsoever. Finally, one of my secrets that I always use all the time for flavoring is that if you're in this universe, bring in that coffee. Yeah, I use coffee a lot. If I'm going for something that's sugar-free, on certainly the sugar-free chocolate cake. <laughs> if I'm going for the sugar-free, I often bring in coffee. Now, when I'm talking about the coffee, I do it with the espresso in mind. I don't want my watered down drip coffee flavoring. I want really strong coffee. So if I do have time, what do I do? I actually room, I actually cut in half the amount of water. So let's say you use an espresso machine at home and you want to bring in some coffee into the recipe. So you say, oh, I already make espresso for the family. I'll use some of that espresso. No, 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 no. I do it again and then remove half of the water out. Remove half of the water out. So let's say you use a cup of water when you make espresso for the family. Do a half a cup of water. And then that flavor from that espresso shot or shots will be so wonderful that when you add it into the flavor, you'll just get a wonderful pop. Let me jump in the live chat and see some more of your incredible questions and comments. We're doing a live edition in which I answer your questions about stimulus and also whether the upside down cake should be right side up or upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Let me jump into the live chat right now. Uh, what did the sugar? Sh when did the sugar shortage start? <laughs> Reoccurring sugar shortage? No. Soft lemon cookies are amazing, Sister Dragon. Yeah, they are. Uh, Brussels sprout cra uh, cream puffs. <laughs> uh, what if you just moved to the other state but have direct deposit? That's no problem at all. But you still got to pounce. You still got to apply, Joan. Uh, great question. Yeah, the, the accounts are not dependent upon where you live. And if you're in the same state, great. If you're in a different state, that's a very, very hard question. 
Um, and often I don't have the answer as well. Um, Robert says he put the bacon inside of the chicken. Uh, interesting. Um, I don't like coffee, but I like chicory. Well, that's a great idea. You know, what, now that we're talking about puffs, and Bob Bacon was talking about puffs, I got to add as well. Puff pastry is another way to bring out incredible flavor. Puff pastry and also granola. And also, um, granola. So long as you're sugar-free. There's a lot of great puff pastries in the supermarket shelves. They got no sugar in them. And they have that wonderful, crispy, you know, baklava-type uh, texture to them. And boy, are they wonderful. Also wonderful is Big Stimulus. And now what? <laughs> not one, not two, but a lot of it landing. And how do you get it? It's coming up more on Afternoons Today. There is now two state, there is now two federal stimulus checks, then there is state stimulus checks, then there is a third one of MSCs, so many checks, so happening, so fluid, so dramatically changing by the minute and by the day, that's why you want to become a member, because new checks are being added daily, weekly, by these states and the federal government, you don't want to miss the new checks across the board, become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP, membership links at the top of the chat, pin comment. Get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And with that, there's so much coming out throughout the day. Next up is the 1 o'clock afternoon's edition. And then we go into a brand new 3 o'clock afternoon show and a brand new evenings. With that, there's so much happening all throughout the day, all throughout the morning, all throughout the evening. What's important for you to know is keep it intact, keep it on point. Don't miss any checks. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with Ally for more.